So in a previous video, I showed how to model a second order reflective construct in Smart PLS 4. However, I made a mistake when it came to validating that higher order construct. In that video, I showed that you could just hover over the second order factor and it would show you the Cronbex alpha and composite reliability, etc. Well, it turns out those values are not calculated from these first order dimensions, 905, 480, 917, like I thought. Turns out they are calculated based on the underlying repeated indicators, as if it were a first order factor. So if you really want to validate a second order reflective factor in Smart PLS 4, what you need to do is first save latent variable scores. So let's do that. You're going to go up to calculate and you need to run a PLS algorithm. You cannot do this with consistent PLS just yet. So PLS, I'm going to do it based on factor weighting, start calculation. And now you'll see, we can compare these if you want. It says the AVE is 0.549 with Cronbach's alpha of 0.822. But when we go save those factor scores, which we can do by clicking on the report up here and then clicking on create data file, we only need the manifest variable scores and latent variable scores. We don't need this other stuff. And then I will change this name to Sohana LVS, latent variable scores. It will save it in the YouTube tutorials project by default, the one I'm currently in. You can save it wherever you want. I will hit create. And then when we go back to our model, we can select a different data set. So click select and go ahead and select Sohana LVS, that new data set. And now, instead of having emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, reduced productivity, these first order dimensions, we're going to use their latent variable scores. So to do that, I'm gonna select all of these, hit delete. And then here are the latent variable scores down here on the left. I'm going to get the one for depersonalization, emotional exhaustion, and reduce productivity. Those are the three that were original dimensions of burnout from management. I'll drag them out into burnout from management. Ooh, and we need to remove the ones that were already there. So right click that, show indicators. You can see there were all these others. So let's get rid of those. You can just select those like this. Make sure you don't select anything you don't want selected. Hit delete. Let's move these indicators over to the right. There they are. And if we want, we can expand them so we can see what they actually are. There we go, right there. Now it's treating this second order factor like a first order factor by using those first order dimension latent variable scores as its indicators. So now when I hit calculate, PLS algorithm, run, when I hover over it, those values will be correct. Notice the AVE has increased to 0 0.630 and the Cronbex alpha has dropped to 0.681, although the composite reliability is 0.826, which is good. So that's how you validate a second order reflective factor in Smart PLS 4 using latent variable scores. Hope that helps and clarifies.